first thing we want to do is get some aliens displayed up on the screen, moving side to side and from the top down to the bottom. You're starting with a project that already has two files loaded, right? So here's alien.png. That's going to be our alien. So first thing we need to do is add a canvas. And then we're going to create a sprite type for our alien. So we'll start with this sprite type that they've already given us. And we'll call it sprite type aliens. And now we need to associate that kind of sprite with our little aliens. We'll get rid of the beaver. And now every sprite of type aliens that we create is going to look like this. So we, we're going to want nine aliens. So let's start with this one. Put this alien up on the screen and call that Sprite Alien 1. And now we're just going to duplicate and make that Alien 2. Duplicate that to make Alien 3. And if I shrink this down, you can see these are growing. Duplicate that. Make Okay, so now we've got nine aliens. We want to line them all up so that they look nice and professional, professionally alien, like a real organized alien invasion should. So we'll start with the first one here, and let's just put it at 30, 30. And then this next one, Eighty thirty, so that's x position of eighty, y position of thirty. So they're going to be spaced fifty pixels apart. Um, okay, this will be one eighty thirty, and this will be two thirty. So now each one of these is on the same line, the same Y, and 50 pixels apart. So if we want to put these lined up kind of in the middle, then that would be 55. And let's say 
60. So 105, 60, 155, 60, and 205, 60. All right, now we've got our aliens on the screen, ready to start moving. Now the coordinate position on the canvas, remember that up here is zero, zero, and the Y's get bigger as we go down, and the X's get bigger as we go across. And when we make our sprites move, we're gonna give them a speed in the X and Y direction. Now, if the speed in the X direction is greater than zero, so it's a positive number, that means the sprite will move across the screen from left to right. If we give something a speed in the X direction that's negative, so less than zero, that makes it move from right to left. So what we want to start is each of these aliens moving to the right and moving at the same speed. So let's go to our blocks. And first thing we're gonna do is create a global variable we can use to represent the speed. So INT is short for integer. So using this naming convention, I know that alien speed is supposed to be an integer, some number. Uh, and let's start it out at 25. Um, and then when my canvas loads, so every time my canvas loads, let's go ahead and make sure that alien speed is set to 25. And now for each one of those alien sprites, I want to set its X speed to 25. So what I'm looking to do is for each one of these sprites, I wanna set their X speed to some number. And that number is that int alien X speed. So let's grab that right here. So now I've got something that will set a sprite's speed in the x direction to this int alien speed, which is 25. But I wanna do this for every single alien sprite. And the way to do that is to use a loop. So down here under control, I wanna use this for each item in list. And let's rename this to SPRT for Sprite, okay? So that we know what it is we're looping through. And what we need is some list of all the alien sprites. And fortunately, we have that right here. So under Add and Remove, we can get a list of all the sprites that are of sprite type aliens. So if I click on this and then right click on it, it'll create a get sprite block. I can put that in here. So now for every single sprite of sprite type aliens, it's gonna set its speed to 25, which means they'll all start moving across the screen from left to right as soon as the canvas loads. Okay, so let's check out just that much right now. All right, so there we go. They all start moving left to right, and then when they hit the edge, they all just clump up there. So that's the next thing we've got to fix. So now we want our alien horde, as soon as they hit, as one of them hits the edge, 
the entire group moves down and then starts moving in the opposite direction. And that's another canvas event. So this is a little bit different than the events we've been using previously. So before we've had an event for a button or for some other single object on the screen. And when an event of happens for that one thing, the event handler fires. Here, we've got an event that happens when any kind of alien hits any kind of edge. And what this tells us is this is the individual sprite that actually of type sprite alien type that hit the edge. So first thing we're going to do is we want to reverse the speed. Right? So if they're going 20, if their speed is 25, that means they're going from left to right at 25. And then we'd want to set it to minus 25 so that they start going from right to left. And then if it's going minus 25 and they hit the edge, we want to set it back to 25 so that it keeps going back in the other direction. So what we want to do is set our alien speed to be what the alien speed is times minus one. So if it's 25, we'll set it to minus 25. If it's minus 25, we'll set it back to 25. And then we want to do the exact same thing we did up here. We want to make that change for every single sprite, right? So for every sprite of type sprite aliens, we're going to set its speed to be the opposite so that it goes in the opposite direction. Um, the other thing we need to do is move them all down by let's say 10 pixels. So in this case, we want to set its Y value to whatever it is plus 10. So let's see. here we are. So what we want to do is change and we want to get a sprite block. So for every sprite of type alien, we're going to change its Y position by 10. So we're going to add 10 to it. That's going to move it down 10 pixels on the screen. And we're going to change its x speed to be negative of what it was so that it's going to go in the opposite direction. So let's try that out. Okay, and there you go. They move back and forth down the screen. 